Okay, so here we have a Sony Vio Fit 14 notebook computer with Intel i3 a CPU. And this is a pretty good notebook. The only uh, complaint that you find often on the internet for the Sony Fit model is the wireless connection. And I'm going to show you how to open this and how to locate and replace the wireless module if you find necessary. So here you can see the, um, the RAM slots are very accessible. You don't really have to disassemble the whole computer. You could just remove this cover and the RAM modules are exposed. And this model should support up to 8 gigabyte of memory, maybe 16, I'm not too sure. And this is the hardware um, hard drive module and I already removed that. So when you remove all the screws, including these, holding the battery connector in place. Um, remove these on the side. You should be just able to make the cover loose by using a very flat plastic or metal tool and pop open around the edges. And that's pretty easy. So once you have removed all the screws and pop the uh, cover loose, it should be easily removable. And you can see we have the motherboard here, and here are all the, the modules. And here you can see you have the lithium ion battery backup for in case when you have no battery that's used to keep the bias data, like the date. And here you have where the CD drive was supposed to be. Like here you have the CPU, you have the CPU fan, and you can see there's a copper heat sink that conducts the heat to the fan area. And the fan creates ventilation. So the important thing that we're worried about here is this PCI Express, mini PCI Express module, which is a wireless LAN Wi-Fi Bluetooth combining one. And the, the, the factory PCI Express module is not as good from what I have read on the internet. Many people suffer weak signal, even though they have the latest driver. So now I'm going to just replace this with uh, another one. So once I unscrew this only uh, screw that's holding it in place, it pops up easily and I can just pull it out carefully and it looks like the flu um, the screw flew away and here's the replacement this is a Intel let's see Centrino advanced N6230 and this also has a Bluetooth so let's see if that works any better than the stock module okay and just pop it down put the screw back and there it is so now I'm going to put the cover back and put all the other modules back and test it out and that's pretty simple if you want to replace the, uh, the Wi-Fi module and you can see it's not too hard.